Welcome to Sarpy Outlook, a program dedicated to promoting democratic ideals from an issue-based perspective. I'm Peg O'Day Lippert, a Sarpy County Democrat and a longtime political activist. As a retired clinical social worker, I've committed my life to making a difference, promoting the common good, equality, and justice for all. My belief is that sitting around and talking is not enough. We all need to take action. The topic of discussion today is getting published by writing letters to the editor of your paper. The objective is to ensure that your voice is heard throughout your community on topics relating to our principles, beliefs, and in furtherance of the best interests of democratic values locally, statewide, and nationally. I've had good success in getting letters published, particularly in the Omaha World Herald. And I've been able to influence and help others to do the same. Nothing succeeds like success. I remember the first letter that I had published. If you recall when the Iraq War started, I think that the view was it would be a brief a war like the first Gulf War that lasted about 18 days. So the Omaha World Herald started on Sundays to publish a page of pictures from that war. One early Sunday, there was a picture of a military personnel with a bandana on his head that said, kill them all, reading the Bible. And this struck me as rather peculiar. So my letter was one sentence. Is there a word beyond oxymoron to describe the picture? And I went on to describe the picture, and they published it. So 30 days later, another letter to the Omaha World Herald. And essentially, I've done it every 30 days ever since. I do have some tips and hints that may be helpful to you particularly if you've never written a letter to the Omaha World Herald, well, and I shouldn't say the Omaha World Herald, to your local paper, whatever that might be. Select a topic for which you have passion. And I will say usually there's something every day. I could write a letter every day, but they won't accept it. And if you use facts, be certain of them and state as such and cite the reference, for example, the U.S. Census 2010, or whatever the fact that is something other than common knowledge. If it's your own opinion, state that and indicate it's yours, or a statement of collective wisdom. Follow the paper's guidelines, and I will go into those a little bit later. The press likes to know that you read their newspaper. So therefore, citing an article, and I usually do that in parentheses like Omaha World Herald and give a date parentheses, they because that lets them know this is a reader of the newspaper, not just something that you heard on TV. And also, they like to see that you read the opinion page, the public pulse in the Omaha World Herald. So don't hesitate to cite and differ with a letter that someone else may have submitted and then cite that reference. It's important to keep your letter simple. In style and content, use proper grammar and stick to one topic only. I know that's difficult because when I get going on something, one thing leads to another and pretty soon you're covering several ideas. It's more successful if you stick to one concept and be timely. I usually write the same day that something is in the paper and I keep a calendar by the way of every 30 days. I compose in Word because that lets me know how many words I have and then cut and paste to email. I've kind of developed a style of my own, and that is to uh, start with a provocative question. I think that's useful. It, it draws the reader in. 
and a question this question or puzzlement at the beginning I think can be effective I have uh, one example this is a letter that I submitted on May 21st of 2015 it was published on May 24th do you suppose the governor has a return refund policy on the recently purchased lethal drugs simple one sentence they published it unedited I think a provocative question at the end or something that will spur the reader to action is also effective. I, for one, have to watch the sarcasm. I don't get too snarky because, at least in the Omaha World Herald, they won't publish it. In fact, they wouldn't publish the word hate, although I was not saying I hate anyone. It was in reference to, to an issue. And, and they wouldn't publish that word. It is really important to be aware. With every action, there is a risk. And when you put yourself out there, such as writing letters to the editor, be prepared. You may get hate mail, hate calls. I have one letter that was, of course, these letters are never signed. Usually if you get a call, it's, it's going to be more positive and you do get those too where people thank you for your opinion. I've had one letter that struck me as so questionable that I actually took it to the Papillion police because I wasn't certain if it was really a death threat or just an innuendo. I will go over briefly the uh, various publications and their requirements and then these will be posted for your convenience also. The Omaha World Herald, the email is pulse at owh.com. You need to include your first and last name, your address and phone number, although they will not publish either your address or your phone number. And although not stated in their little specs at this time, the preference is for about 200 words or less every 30 days. Tim O'Brien is the current editor in charge of The Pulse. They've had various editors of this uh, page through the years and some are more lenient, more supportive, I might say, than, than others. In the Lincoln Journal Star, the email is oped, O-P-E-D, at journalstar.com. Again, include your name and address, your home and work phone numbers. Their suggested word length is also 200 words. The Lincoln Journal Star, this is really interesting and very responsible on their part, will call and ask you if you submitted a letter and then they will ask what is the content. You, you feel safe and protected with that behavior. I will tell you, although this 30-day uh, restriction, if there's something really burning for me, I don't hesitate to send the letter to the Lincoln Journal Star, or I've sent letters to the uh, Grand Island paper or, or North Platte. Now, in the uh, Sarpy area. The Bellevue Leader, the Gretna Breeze, the Papillion Times, and the Ralston Recorder, all owned, I might add, by the Omaha World Herald, uh, also welcome letters. And there you can send about 300 words. The smaller town newspapers love something to publish. And th the email address for these is letters at, and then you at, drop in the name of the local paper, Bellevue Leader, for example, dot com, or letters at Gretna Breeze dot com. Include your address and a 300 word limit, and they will assume that you are a resident of the city uh, to which you submit the letter, unless you say otherwise. So if I submit a letter to the Bellevue leader, they will say I'm from Papillion. 
Also, the other newspapers that, and I didn't detail their contact information, it probably has changed since I had it, but the Kearney Hub, the Grand Island Independent, the North Platte Telegraph, and the Scotts Bluff Star Herald are all papers that deserve to hear from you. With this information, there is no reason that every day there can, there's no reason there can't be a letter every day from some Democrat in Nebraska voicing an opinion of the local, state, or federal level. I'm willing to help you. I know at first some people are reluctant to, to send a letter, but I am going to give you my phone number and my email and ask that if you want some help to get started, email me your letter and be sure to indicate that it is letter for X and so paper. Otherwise, I won't open emails from people I don't know. My phone number, 402-212-1180. The email is gplippert2 at cox.net. Send me your letter. I will review it carefully, make comments, suggestions, and I will be sure to include your phone number because I will phone you back with the suggested changes, if any. So let's all get out there and let our voices be heard. This is really important, and there's so much going on. We can all be activists, whether you were one of the 20,000 people who marched in Nebraska last Saturday night or just are newly getting involved as an activist. This is a great place to start. Thank you, and let me hear from you.